What's good, you guys? I love Bollywood. I love Bollywood actors, and I look up to them. But in saying that, you've got to understand Bollywood makes steroids. Steroids are a big deal. In today's video, we're talking about Bollywood fitness regimes and five reasons why you probably won't be able to achieve that body. Reason number one. They're super expensive. We're known to be cheap in India. Come on. If a Bollywood actor wants to build a body for a movie, he's gonna go to a steroid consultant and pay that guy two lakhs upfront, and then he'll pay him separately for his steroid stack. Now there are cheaper alternatives where there are cheaper guides and there are cheaper steroids. And if you go for them, there's a high chance you'll damage your body. Point number two. You gotta understand that to make a body, it's not as simple as just putting steroids and lying on your back. You have to back that up with a good diet and an exercise program. But you gotta give more importance to your diet. And if you're talking about diet, these steroid-related diets are very expensive. Rehte if you want a body like Amir Khan and you have his exact diet chart, you eat the same things he ate. First of all, it's going to cost you like 500 to 1000 rupees every day and your stomach's going to end up being completely upset. You're going to spend the next day in the loo the entire day. That's how much protein you need to eat if you want to develop that kind of body if steroids are in your system. And if steroids are not in your system, your stomach's going to get wrecked. Point number three, the dedication, all the time it takes to build that kind of a body. If you're on steroids, you can actually work out a lot longer and your body will recover from that damage. But if you're natural, if you don't have steroids steroids in your body, for you, one hour workout in the day, that's much more than enough. At the most, you should be working out for one hour and maybe doing half an hour of cardio sometime later in the day. But that's how much damage your body can take. Anyone who tells you that they work out for longer than one or one and a half hours doesn't know what they're talking about or they're on steroids. So stop listening to those people. Coming to point number four, another aspect of dedication. If anyone wants to inspire you, especially to promote a Bollywood movie, they'll tell you that a transformation is done in a very short period of time. You ask any gymmer, ab kisi se bhi pooch lo jinhone long term gymming ki hai. They'll tell you immediately that to build a Bollywood body, you need to dedicate at least five to six years. You need to have a good schedule where you go to the gym and you get rest at home. You can't develop a body in six months. Even at the age of 18, when your testosterone levels are very, very high and that's the best time in your life to develop muscle, it's very hard to achieve a body in six months unless you've injected yourself. And coming to my fifth and final point, cricketers, athletes, retire by the age of 40. They can't play anymore. That's how low their testosterone levels go. Even if you've never gymmed in your life, if you start gymming at 40 and you start following a good diet, it's very hard to build substantial amount of muscle mass. You'll probably become lean and you'll become fit, but it is difficult to build that kind of muscle. And for an 18 year old who's following a good program and a good diet, it's still hard to build as much muscle as these Bollywood actors build, especially for wrestling movies. Okay, now if you've watched the video till the end, till this point, I'm assuming that you like fitness, you like listening to things about fitness. And I'm also assuming that you're an average Indian and you're not a Bollywood star. So keeping that in mind, let me just take you through the life of an actor when he's prepping for a movie, when he's on steroids. He's got someone to constantly tell him what to eat, someone who's sitting on his neck and seeing everything he's eating. He's got his steroid coach who's pumping things into his system. He's got his trainer who's spending two, three hours with him at the gym and probably with his cardio later in the day. Now, as an average Indian, not only do you not have this amount of time, but it's likely that, you know, we can't afford as much as Bollywood actors can. Instead of that, work towards something permanent. Work towards real fitness. And once again, I have nothing against Bollywood. It's their job to look good. They're making all those sacrifices so that you get to see something good on screen. Keep that in mind. Don't look down on Bollywood actors. That's their life. But if you're an average Indian, focus on health, focus on fitness.